Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 16 of my Stacey Expert playthrough. And you, yep, you connected. Okay, cool. So I'm running out of wood. Well, not really, but I am for a project. And I want you to spit out wood that way, right? And then you here are going to pick up wood from the conveyor going here. So andesite funnels. This seemed to work okay. And I'm going to hook my saw back up and just using existing belts pretty much at this point. And you know what? Here you can. Uh, give me that. Thank you. But right now we're stripping the logs and then after this is done, I'm gonna grab the logs from out of here, drop them off over into here, and they'll be cut into planks for me. Because I'm working on the rest of the house right now, at least getting the bottom floor done. And I figured let's just go with oak for now. Oak goes pretty good with the uh, mineral logs, so. But I'm gonna have to clean up a lot of the machines and everything else around here once I get all this started. Uh, let's see. We're working on what? Pomegranate now? Yeah. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get the pomegranate put away into our fruit basket. Which is actually doing rather well. And... Let's have some blackberry juice, I guess. Here we go. All right, and I just picked up an egg. All right, very nice. So something that took quite a while is uh, I got my sheep and my horses up here. The sheep were pretty easy because you can pick them up. Uh, let's see. If they don't move out of your way. There we go. Yeah, you can pick them up, carry them around. Horses, you can't. So I had to basically tame these four horses and I only had one saddle, so I had to bring them up one at a time. But I've got my animals out of the basement now. And you just still have it? Yep. Go ahead and get this filled in here. Alright, look how fast that gear is just zipping along. Or that cog, I guess. You know, would be a good way of putting it. Alright. So everything's working good ish it's not the fastest but i mean it works so did another mining trip and just processing up that as well right now and let's see i was gonna do a little bit let's get started on blood magic a bit here and i also want to get into at least making a fluid extractor which needs these pitting machine frames which take mana weave cloth which is a bunch more mana and a few string. So how much string do I have left? Uh, let's see, I've got a bunch here. I need 93 mana infused, and then I got 92 regular. And I've got a bunch of industrial hemp fiber, so I can make more string if I need to. Alright, so snares. Right? I know I clicked eight times and it only pulled for five. Really? Wow. And it's just like, no, you get five. Let's get an even dozen, right? There we go. And we got a quest done here from Blood Magic. And that'll give me some basic cheeseburgers. Okay. Oh, and Iron Ore was a quest. And that gives me for the uh, Starlight. Craft an Iron Ore by placing Iron Chunk in the crafting table because Slip Touch won't work. Uh, yeah, but, hmm. I mean, I'm guessing that this is from a previous edition of the mod. Or the mod pack. So, not an issue anymore. Starlight, Star Metal Ore, and then the Star Metal Cutting Tool. And Star Metal Ingots, which I just, yeah, cook up one of these. 
Oh yeah, I got more cactus paste here. Alright, so you go in there and... Cutting tool, right? Need this thing. That's... Infused wood planks, okay. And three gold nuggets. Uh... I should have some nuggets left, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, now infused wood planks. Actually, I could have checked it from the cutting tool recipe. Whoops. Alright, you are... You're made in the luminous crafting table. Okay. Uh, well, it's getting close to nighttime. I'm gonna have to sleep soon anyway, so can I have my resonating wand, please? Thank you. And what are some uses for star metal ore? That's it. It exists only to be cooked up. Okay. Although, yeah, I can always make more. So. I need a collector crystal to make more, but I know where one of those is in the world, so. And let's just go ahead and add that to favorites and then linking tool. I need a rock crystal. Yeah. Logs, sticks, aquamarine. Okay. Should go ahead and make one of those as well. It was like two aquamarine, was it? There we go. Uh, sticks. I need two logs as well, so let's go ahead and get that requested. And I needed like four sticks, was it? Uh, yeah, that should be everything. Okay. Uh, four. There we go. And that should not be in here. Alright, let's go ahead and get that stuff put away. Almost night time. And I completely flood that jump up. Hey! Thanks. So let's go ahead and do the cutting tool. Ah, yeah, you're like, I don't have enough power. Yeah. I mean, the sun is just now going down, so that's completely understandable. All right. Come on. And I did go ahead and I moved my... Oh, that looks really weird from a distance. Uh, cave illuminator over there, so it can illuminate more so more uh, chunks of the cave sections. Cutting tool is done, and then I need my linking tool. That way I can make more star metal in the future. And I'm out of coal over there again. Alright. And we're just going to get these things put away. Into here. I can probably put that wrench away as well. And... There you, go. you can have some stone bricks as well. But now I need to find... I need to find some mobs. Uh, let's see, actually. No, not down here. I want to go to my basement. That's access to the caves, right? And let's see. Here to here. The problem is I've lit up most of this now. So I'm going to have a little bit of problems trying to find mobs. Oh yeah. I was playing around with my mining laser. And...
Let's see. I think it was... No, it's just... It loops around. Ah. Dang it. Do I have any... Oh, I got my... My thing on me, so I'll just grab some of this out. There we go. That's... Yeah. I'm keeping a lookout for clay as well. This has been Endermond. Quite a bit, actually. Hey, we found the, the mine shaft. Okay. Might be able to find some stuff in here. Hopefully. Can your, you know, your home ever be too safe? Uh, yeah, definitely right here, too. It can be. Hey, we found clay. And some string, but... Alright, let's see. Yeah. Uh, if I remember, or if I am reading the map correctly, there should be a ravine this way, though. Hey, platinum. No, it's not a ravine. It's another tunnel that I dug. It's now been lit up by the cave illuminator. Right. Well, found some mobs. Here's a uh, question. Uh, details. No, not those. Uh, animations. Ocean particles are on. Okay, good. Hey. Okay. See the little white particles there. And we got ourselves a demonic will. Okay. He was hit. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this place. Uh, I had a Lexa already, so. Yeah, melon seeds. Oh, there's some Bort. If you're quick enough, you can take out a creeper before it blows up with the sword. You're gonna boom. Yeah, if you want boom. Did he get about a hundred percent chance now or something? Kind of looking that way. Uh yeah, we're up to five demonic wills so far. Two eight nine, three three three, three two three, two eight eight, two oh four. not fond of the fact that Enderman can pick up clay blocks, because I've been finding those things everywhere. Oh, hey, look at you. Uh, yeah, I'll take all that stuff. I don't need the melon seeds. Alright. Well. There's a creeper down there. Hey, that's a wild and stalker. And look at that. Anybody else around here? 
Oh, there's a creeper there. And I missed. Okay. Alright, now I just need to get over to that water column there. That This is the ravine under... Basically under my house. That the... Uh, Drowned him coming kind of out of. Which I haven't sealed off completely, but I really should have. Oh, yeah, speaking of drowned, be me in a second here. Grab some more aquamarine while I'm here. I'm always going to need it. Speaking of which, I probably should go ahead and throw some on the uh, relic collector here. Light well. Uh, yeah, it's 20 buckets. Okay, Blaze just dropped in again. Alright, so. Blood magic. Need a blood altar, which requires an alloy machine frame, stone, gold plates. Alright, yeah, I really need to empty my inventory out too. Up there. Here. And why was smooth stone not going into my into my dank? Hmm, yeah, the thing's almost out of power again. I let it run all night, and it does not like that a whole lot. Alright. Uh, yeah. So, I think I'm set up for plates currently. We can just do that, and... There you go. I was trying to make steel plates so I could upgrade my blast burners, too, and it... There's a thing where the redstone signal doesn't work on the, on the spout. All right, so let's get you out of here. Do I have any frames just like sitting around? Hmm, no. Do you have a decent amount of wither skeleton skull fragments though? Yeah, I still I could fight a wither probably. I need a chest plate first before I do, but uh, let's see. Like very jelly, let's just go ahead and do the sandwich so I don't have to worry about eating for a while. Oh, hey, and I got a free heart. Sweet. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and get this frame made up. Uh, I'll get some of the processing done because I've got like platinum and iron to cook up now. Because I can't say no to platinum. Although I have no idea why. I mean, what do I need platinum for anyway? Platinum seeds. Metal compounding, okay. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, primitive resonators. And singularities. Okay. So, honestly, I probably don't need platinum anymore, but... Oh, well. Alright, and... Blood altar. I had gold plates left already. Whoops, okay. I hadn't grabbed the ones from downstairs yet. Uh, three five one. Let's go use a two two three or two three three. Hey, quest complete. Blood altar, and that'll give me a bucket of life. All right. So, what do you want next? You want me to make a weak blood orb, which is two thousand LP, and a hellfire forge, which requires oh sky stone. You know, so this thing didn't require a single thing from blood magic to do. Uh, sky stone block to sky stone. Uh, okay. Yeah, I hope I can mine it up okay. Uh, let's see. Where would be a decent place for this for right now? How about right over here? I don't have a quick way of getting around my islands, so I'm kind of clumping everything together for right now, but I'm going to have to sort it out eventually. Uh, 
we have like a teleporter mod or something like that? Oh. Ah, yeah, travel anchors. Which is pretty heavy on the iron, but other than that, not bad. And then... Chair stones, huh? Interesting. And then the uh, paddle staff is not bad at all. You know what? Let's go ahead and make one of those. Okay, no power needed. It's just got a cooldown, so you can't fly with it. Alright, well, I mean, that works. And how am I doing on iron right now, anyway? Uh, 789. Wait, okay. have any blocks left? Uh, I have one. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to hold off for now. Alright. So, Hellfire Forge would be something. Okay, so I'm going to also need a Dagger of Sacrifice. Second person, I'm sorry. The Dagger of Sacrifice is the other one that's much better. We need a Crystal Sword. Alright. Uh, let's actually do that again. Go here. And it's any stick, okay. I saw a created stick there at first, and I was like, oh, here we go. And I think we need more crystals here soon, too. Alright, and I need my resonating wand. So it'll be you, you, and you. And now we have to wait till nighttime, which eh, it's going to be in a few minutes anyway. Uh, let's see, how's this doing? Yeah, it broke. Okay. I only got a bucket out of that one. Uh, string. Also, I should probably get a diamond. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, you know? And I can just craft this normally. I need iron gears, tree wood planks, blocks, redstone. I have no iron gears right now. And it's not a problem. Uh, let's see. Your cast, because yeah, you are empty, so you can have these. That, and those, there's clear glass from Tinkers. I'm just going to leave that in there, actually. Give, thank you. Steel plates and blast brick. And... I just need a metal hopper. Uh, let's see. I should check in here. I do have some. Okay, good. I made extras in the past, so. Nighttime, and my first reaction when hearing the crickets was to go sleep, which would have been uh, counterproductive. Not really, though, there's not a quest in here for the improved blast furnace. Yeah, there really isn't. Wow. Boom. There we go. It's now automatable. I can add preheaters to it to speed it up if I want. And you are currently full of stuff, so. There you go. Myself a crystal sword. Task complete crystal sword, really, what? Task complete for what?
Okay, I need Stardust as well, but... Oh. Here we go. And it'll give me one rock crystal for making all that stuff. This better be an amazing crystal. Uh, no. It's not going to be. But yeah, definitely need to go get more of the, the rock crystal for now. Uh, gears should be done, though. Hey! Oh, that was Quest 2. Really? Uh, let's see. No, that's the thermal stuff there. Arboreal Extractor. Resin. Okay. Latex from jungle logs or leaves. Well, jungle tree, I'm guessing. Really? Thermal latex. All right, uh, yeah, the only thing you can do with it is put it into buckets, apparently. Uh, resin. Ah, there we go. There's sap as well. And we can fractionate that into syrup. And then do nothing with it. Okay. And then there's the resin, which we can fractionate still into tree oil. And then burn that for power in a compression dynamo. Okay. Uh, maybe in the future I'll worry about that stuff, but not right now. I tell you what, here you can go in there. Where was that quest though for the, for the thing? All right. Long in a non-existent language. Oh, here we go. Uh, fluid extractor. Yeah, that's where I'm heading to next. I, I want uh, mob imprisonment units. Is what I'm working on here. So fluid extractor. I need. Pressure plate. Are you kidding me? That, what? What? It's not. Yeah, fail to request one golding at times. Oh, it's because you're out of power. Sleep, 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 sleep. Ah, dang it. And there we go. Should have checked before I went and laid down. All right, my bad. I really need to get more than just a single solar power panel for this. All right, we should have power now. Hey, look at you go. And I need a piston. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, let's see, except for the gear part, I think I'm good on a piston, right? I need a repeater as well, okay. And... More iron gears, please. There it goes. I think I cut it right at the uh, start of a power cycle. Have you started? No, you still haven't started putting anything in there yet. I mean, this silver chest is actually holding quite a bit, which is nice. And gear, please. So, one of you is going to need this. And, and that. Now, the latex processing unit is going to need a bucket of latex. Okay. Best and a task. Hmm. Alright, now something else I should probably look at, look at doing. Uh, chestnuts. This is my last sapling, actually. I need to get some acacia wood going. And 
Got a mechanical placer that I made up a while ago. I was going to try to use this and this to automate the uh, uh, living wood and stuff, but I just never got around to it. Stone mode always on, 20 ticks per operation. Uh, let's see, I don't know why I just did that. This thing faces away from me. Yes. And I can give it power, I think, to speed it up, but it'll still work without it. Yep, but it probably definitely needs the power. I want to do this anytime soon. But we have this to do. I need gold, sheet metal, and I need aluminum glass. All right, now the aluminum glass, I might have some. No, I have no hardened glass. And then, of course, you do that number. Okay, that's of course you do. All right, hardened glass. Here we go. Aluminum glass. And then the crystal sword. And. Uh, oh, it's because I didn't request gold. Completely skipped that part. Here we go. All right. I'm sitting here going, oh great, it's going to be one of those things I can't do the uh, the thing in, right? I can't, make, can't craft in. Alright. And here's the portion where I start going through a bunch of my food. Healing. And, uh... Did I ever grab that diamond out of here? No. You know, I either grabbed it out and then put it away like an idiot, or just, you know, like a fool, I never grabbed it out. So. There you go. And I can't even eat barley. Okay. Wow. It actually shows on the tooltip now without having to need the, uh, the thing. The, uh, divination sigil. Hey. Go ahead and bind it to myself. And all good for now, I think. Alright, now it's like, hey, make eight blood runes. Eight blank runes, sorry. Uh, I do want to get this started before I get too much further though. There's a Hellfire Forge is where you start getting the really fun stuff as well. So can I have some gold, please? And we have extra iron gears. Awesome. Some netherite scrap too, but don't need that for anything right this second. And oh, gold gear. Now let's just go ahead and drop that off into here. Some of those, that, and uh, not the barley. Not ah, too late. All right. So one thing before I cut here. How are we doing here? We got twenty-four chestnuts. Eh, it's probably good for now. that and you go there and you can be now be in acacia and then that can go there I need to grab those chestnuts out and move them to my uh my storage system over here now technically nuts are fruits when you get down to it and did I eat one of I have not had green grapes yet okay had blackberries yet or huckleberry yep no now I've got at least some foods to try out here and that's still not even enough to get me to start healing um blackberry jelly was a thing use that really 
I made three. Whoops. I only meant to make two. Candleberry jelly. Candleberry juice. And a smoothie. And uh, it just needs probably some peanut butter. I think. Uh, yeah, we were out of peanut butter. Okay. There's that. Tell you what, you can have that for now. And blackberry, I already had the sandwich on, so. It was a blueberry sandwich is what I want to make. Blueberry jelly sandwich. Here we go. But I have to go uh, somewhere. I'm going to take a bit because I can't remember which one of these waystones was close to a, uh, a thing. And I've, uh, I found a few. Uh, Maneglin I know isn't, but I really should have renamed these. <laughs> All right, and we get Skystone. Awesome. Figured we would, but just to make sure. Oh, that's the chest, huh? More Skystone and a calculation press. All right, awesome. I couldn't find any waystones that were actually close enough to a, a meteor for me. So I just went to the, uh, the first one we found. By boat, because it takes a while, but... To listen to the, the lapping of the, the water against the hull of the boat, which is you know, honestly not bad. Alright, and play. And water. Alright, cool. So now to get back to base. Alright, back at base, took a nap, and I have a uh, aura cut process. There we go. But we have one of the presses now, which is kind of nice, actually. But uh, let's go ahead and make the Hellfire. So I just need probably another pity machine. For, no, actually, I have everything but the golden gear. I don't do this to me. I made one and put it in here. And you're not going to accept that, huh? Nope. You're not. Give me the thermal gear and delete that one. And request. Hellfire Forge is a go. All right. So for now, this can just be here. I need a, a, a Tartar gem now, right? Eddie one. Redstone, gold, lapis, glass. Eh, that's easy enough, right? Redstone, lapis, gold. And I'm like, it's getting a little glass, huh? And glass. There we go. And I do have a bunch of demonic wheel saved up, so. Shouldn't be a huge issue. And that'll pull one. I uh, don't know why I put that in there instead, but okay. Well, that'll pull one demonic or one will out of this. There we go. And. I just have to throw that on the ground then. Pick it up with this in the inventory. There we go. Let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to need it here in a second, I think. That was. Lapis, gold, redstone, and then glass would probably be, what, second page? Yeah, here we go. Definitely get some more glass cooked up, though. There we go. And it's going to pull one from this gem, make this gem. All right, now, I want to make myself the sentient sword, which takes no will, but combines a petty gem with an iron sword. But even though it takes no will, you still have to have something over here before it'll work. Uh, let's see. Do I have any? No, I have an iron pick. Okay. It's an iron machete from Silent Gear, huh? I'm not surprised iron swords are the base recipe. Oh, well. There you go. 
And now what this will do... Uses Demon Will to unleash its full potential, contains raw will, yeah, all that fun stuff. That will make it so that whenever I kill things, they drop demonic wills. To go into Ascension Gem, or a Petty Gem. And... Then we can upgrade a Petty into a Lesser, so I'm going to need another Petty now. I have to have one gem to power and one gem to upgrade. And then there's the common, which requires imbued slates. But I can get up to a lesser without actually having to get into using the blood altar at all. Now, the imbued slate is a tier three, so I need to have a tier three altar for that. We'll get into what that means eventually. And then demonic slate is a tier four. But, and the more full this gem is, the stronger this sword becomes. All right, one last thing before I end off this episode, though. I want to make an enchantment table, finally. I haven't done that yet. And I've really been kind of holding off on doing that with, you know, for reasons, whatnot. But uh, I wanted to see if I get to level 100, but I really want to enchant this thing if I'm going to be using it to kill monsters. Although I do... Did I ever waypoint a... Uh, that's a death point that I can remove. Uh, I thought I found a spawner that I waypointed. No, but I do have some spawners, so I can set up a uh, a mob farm. Right. What all do I have access to? Uh, blaze, cave spider, blaze, cave spider, spider, cave spider, cave spider. Okay, so we're going to do a blaze farm. Which will work, because if nothing else, I can... Well, leave this one alone. I can get blaze rods. Um, those plants might never actually grow. Forty-two percent. Yeah, these things are not fast, by the way. And we're getting acacia, which is awesome. We're getting all the other stuff here still too. Lots of oak. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I did move all those strip logs over. Here, just go ahead and. A couple more stacks of these. And you guys can go to here. And we should have, yep, a good portion of logs here. I already got 50 planks out of here. Otherwise, we would have five stacks. Because basically, it works out you get five planks per, which is eh, not bad. We're still... All right, finally. We're down to the last little bit of cobblestone after this thing. I got a bunch of smooth stone, a bunch of ingots, a whole bunch of good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get that over there. And this bucket of life, I'm not sure what I can use with that right now. I would basically need to pump it into the altar, is the thing. I can't just put that bucket in the altar and have it work. Pretty sure that's the case but if I put it into a tank and then pump from that tank into the altar then we should be okay it's just it takes a while the tanks have a built-in limiter on how fast they can accept fluids just to keep you from well not really to keep you from doing anything but Basically, you can have one altar set up to gather blood, and then you can move that blood to a different altar, or life points, life essence, what do you want to call it. And early game, it's limited, so it's not a super effective approach, but later on, you can get different runes and whatnot to speed things up. And you need more coal. Okay, well. Literally, just like that. That gem gave us almost 5,000 uh, 5, millibuckets, so not bad. And more blaze powder. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoy this one. And until the next, sign signing out. Have fun.